Hey guys, today we're going to learn Algebra Part 2. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. In this video, we're going to learn types of algebraic equations. The types of algebraic equations. 1. Linear algebraic equations. 2. Quadratic algebraic equations. 3. Cube algebraic equation. 4. Higher order polynomial algebraic equations. Linear algebraic equations. Here it's basically an equation where the degree is 1. So here, the meaning of degree is basically the highest exponent. So degree is highest exponent. And linear algebraic equation is where the highest exponent or degree is 1. So some examples are 3x plus 1 equals 5 or 3x plus 1 equals y. They both work. Quadratic algebraic equations. Here, same thing, but the degree is 2 this time. So here, an equation with a degree of the polynomial is 2. So here, it's an example of a quadratic algebraic equation. And see here is the exponent and it's the highest. So that's going to be the degree, and that's what makes this a quadratic algebraic equation. A cube algebraic equation. Here, same thing. Degree is 3. So now here's an example over here. So here there are 2 this time. There are 2 exponents, so there is 3 and two. But a degree, the meaning of a degree is the highest exponent. And right now, 3 is higher than 2. So that is why this is a cube algebraic equation. Higher order polynomial algebraic equation. So here it's just a degree greater than 3. For both these equations, we are solving for x. First step is that we want to isolate the variable. So first we're going to write 3x equals 9 plus 10. So this negative 10 becomes positive 10. And now 3x equals 19 if you add them. And then you want to isolate the x, so it's going to become 19 over 3. And so that is the answer over here. x is going to equal 19 over 3. Second one. First thing to do is that we want to isolate the x again. So we are going to bring this 4x to the right side. So we're going to say... 3 plus 2 equals 7x minus 4x. And so this negative 2 went to the right side, left side, sorry, and became positive 2. So it's going to be 5 equals 3x. So we're going to say 3x equals 5. And then x equals 5. 5 over 3. And so that is going to be the answer over here. Now moving on. A total of 20 items can fit in a basket. If the basket contains 5 apples, 4 avocados, 4 apricots, and 3 alma, then how many pineapples can fit in the basket? Okay, so there are a to total of 20. 20 items. If the basket contains 5 apples, Five apples, four avocados, four apricots, three alma, and then we don't know how many pineapples, so we're just going to put a variable, x, and then they all should equal 20 when added. 
So now here again, we're solving for x because we want to know how many pineapples. Now first, we're going to add all of this up. If we add them up, we're going to get 16 plus x equals 20. And then we want to isolate the x. So this 16 is going to go to the right side and become 20 minus 16. And then x equals 4. And so the answer is going to be four pineapples. If you guys want to check this, you can always just substitute four into x, add them all together, and check if you get 20. You should. So that is it for today's video. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.